Corrugated plastic furniture. Can this work? Let's find out. I designed this shelf unit using 3D software. Each shelf starts as wide as one of the signs it's made from and is then folded to form a tray. This is done because this is a lot more rigid than this. Upside down, these would look more like a typical shelf, but I intended to use at least two of them to contain clothes that I wanted to just chuck in without folding. So I went with trays. Each of the sides is a single uncut sign. They're folded to form front and back as well because this has much more structural integrity than this. Folds can add strength to things made with corrugated plastic, but would this be enough? I was willing to try it and find out. I've added some tools to my toolkit since this project, but at least I had my chisel for creating creases. There's a fair bit of folding involved in this project. There's a fair bit of measuring, line drawing, and cutting as well. The real challenge, though, was putting it all together. I attached everything I could with the parts lying flat on the ground. There's no structure until enough parts are attached securely. That means that everything has to be held in place, which doesn't leave enough hands free to create the holes and deal with zip ties. It would have been a little easier if I had made trays of the shelves first by leaving overlapping plastic and securing with zip ties. But I didn't want the extra layers of plastic or the extra zip ties. As I chose to build it, zip ties that hold the shelves to the walls are the same ones that keep them in tray shape. The downside of this approach is that there's nothing that keeps its shape without being held in place. I built another set of shelves later, and even clamps didn't help at this stage. I got my partner to lend me an extra pair of hands, and we wrestled the first few shelves into place. Unfortunately, I couldn't get good footage of the really hard part. As more parts are attached, things become more stable. The unit looked pretty good when completed. Turning the frontmost flap of each shelf down, however, makes the whole thing look a lot better. It may make it more structurally sound as well. The first shelving unit I built is still in use, but two of the shelves have started to sag, with the front flaps trying hard to unfold. This seems to be limited to just two of the shelves. Folding the front flaps of each shelf down makes it possible to add further reinforcement, like what I added to the floor of the pet shelter. This kitchen shelf unit could use such reinforcement, particularly for the top shelf. It sags under the weight of the items we keep there, although the front flap hasn't unfolded as on the other unit. There is thicker corrugated plastic available, and that would probably help as well when building things that need stronger structure. Another interesting feature of the kitchen shelves is that our kitchen space is limited, and things needed to be able to go beneath the top three shelves. The sidewalls need to be able to keep their shape without the benefit of the lower shelves attached. I was able to use zip ties to effectively keep the sides from unfolding. This unit too is still in use and holding its shape well. The reinforcement I mentioned can be added to improve it. I was successful in creating furniture that I needed for a very specific situation. 
Both units are very light and very easily moved by one person. And of course, they cost almost nothing. I hope it's been a good trip. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and ring the bell to be sure you're notified of my next video.